So we just got back from the retreat two weeks ago, celebrating Betty's 90th birthday. Oh. 50 women, body six women, that took workshops and are our leaders from all over the world, Chile, Israel, Canada, Switzerland. <laughs> really, worldwide. It was kind of overwhelming, but not. It felt so right. No, it was overwhelming. For you? Absolutely. And it was just so healthy to be in this sex positive environment where it was just female energy. And I made the schedule very fluid and Barbara Carlos was there and Ashley Manta and things happened organically. Yes. And you said the word fluid. It was fluid. It was. Everything just flowed. There was agreement. There was no dominance. There was no tension. Uh-uh. No conflict. None. And people would come out with the idea and then other people would say, yeah, that'd be great. Let's do that. Let's go back to the shrine room and let's do energy circles and let's do a breath circle or let's do some bondage. Yep. It was so easy. Easy is the word. <laughs> right? And livable. And the people at the retreat, I mean, they're Buddhist and they called us the happy group. They do? They, thought they were calling us like, because there was only one other gong group there, and they said, oh, the happy ones. And I think it's because we're all grounded in self-sexuality. We're having orgasms. We feel good about ourselves. It's a different energy. You shift. So people say, like, why is masturbation and self-sexuality so important, Betty? Why? What does it shift in our lives? How do we transform? Everything. But why? Why do you think, as the mother of masturbation? We become uh, self-full. Full of ourselves. We're enough. We don't need another person. It doesn't come from a place of insecurity. It, it comes from yourself, so it's... You can access it. And you're in your power. I felt so much power <laughs> there at the retreat. Exactly. I felt like people were taking steps back from us because it was like, whoa, like that's a lot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And Juliana, I mean, every speaker was just so wonderful. And with it. Yes. And there was harmony and it was so peaceful. And I thought, what if we could replicate that for the rest of the world? It would have to start with women. Women getting together, working together, cooperating together, setting things up together organizing together we just have to take over and it's not about being the the thinnest or the best looking like when you can let go of that oh it's so liberating and we were all running around half dressed and at night we would do all kinds of fun things and like people were doing you know vulva sketches and, <laughs> and someone else was doing some rope bondage and someone else had the symbian there and it was just so wonderful it was like the best flea market, buffet, <laughs> I don't even know what of, to call it. female sexuality. It was all there. Everything. Mm. And, and it was, everyone was having pleasure and receiving and giving pleasure, but it was never about making anyone give you pleasure, debasing anyone, making someone feel like they're less than because they had sex. No, no, no. Or sh None of shared that. their nudity, you, you know, belittled very harmonious. So we're gonna have three more workshops this fall. I'm ready. We're going season by season, so if you wanna join us, the email's below, but October 26th and 27th, November 16th and 17th, and December 7th and 8th. Did I put that in my calendar? Yes. Okay. So we will be there if you wanna join us and um, experience pleasure in a sex-positive, wow. female-focused environment. <laughs> Yep, we got it here. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on in.